Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well out there. Saturday morning here on the Gold Coast and we are gonna go and do some garage sales. Uh, we've got three to go to, but what I wanted to do today was actually put it to the test. Can you find really good items going out late? I'm talking after 9 a.m. when all the best items have been picked. Can you actually still go out and make a profit? Well, we're about to find out and I've got a funny feeling there's still gonna be some good items out there. So let's dive into the first one. We're not too far away and we'll see what we can find. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad. First garage sale of the morning all wrapped up and as you would have seen there in the footage, uh, the Guitar Hero guitars were the best of the bunch. Now, there were two of them. One came with a strap, uh, one didn't come with a strap. They have said that they were working about a year ago when they last used it and there was no way of being able to test it. So. I'm gonna to have to go and test this one to make sure it works, but if it does work, they go for about 50 to $70, somewhere in that vicinity uh, for these guys. It's the Les Gibson, uh, or the Les Paul Gibson guitar. So yeah, great for the Wii and uh, should go on to sell pretty well. There was a few other bits and pieces with the Nintendo Wii that they had. They had a charging station here as well for the Wii. Um, and they also had a lot of silicon slips as well for the controllers and these slips alone can go for a few dollars So it wasn't sort of perceived to be too much value on their end Which is great obviously for me because I know it goes on to sell really well um, And then also too we've got the Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock uh, game there as well So uh, there are a few little bits and pieces there with the Nintendo Wii 
Um, the guitars, they do go for a bit, the Guitar Hero guitars, so I was really happy to get my hands on those. Um, managed to pick up a really cheap um, Pokemon plush toy. The Pokemon toys go really well, so I thought I'd just grab that. Um, I found an old school uh, 1983 footy book as well, which was kind of cool. Um, how to play footy. So picked this one up for, I think it was a dollar in the end that I got off him. Um, just an old school 1982 book. Thought I'd grab that. Uh, I also found the, I grabbed the GoPro chest mount as well because the GoPro chest mounts can actually be worth quite a bit. Anything sort of GoPro can be worth a few dollars. Uh, the clips go in fine. This works completely fine. Uh, I picked this one up as well. It was about $5 in for that one uh, and the comps were pretty good. So I thought I'd grab that. And I am collecting always uh, the Guinness World Record books and I managed to spy the 2003 uh, 13 version here. So I've picked that one up as well. Um, now the whole thing, they were charging, um, they wanted initially $80 for all of it. And I knew that there was no way that I was gonna be committing to $80 for this sort of a purchase. Even though the Guitar Heroes are worth about 120 themselves. Um, but I've dropped them down to $50 and I went ahead with a $50 purchase. So look at an ideal world. I would love them to have not known the uh, resale value of these guitars, but they did. Um, but they were going in at a pretty, uh, pretty generous price, I think, um, at $50. So to, to accept that and to get the deal done, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, like I said, the guitars, I'll know that I'll make about 120 on those. Uh, and then everything else could be about $200 uh, all up and I paid 50 bucks. So it's not a true garage sale, you know, $2, $3 purchase item, but in the end, there's still gonna be about 150 bucks profit. So I'm okay with that. Um, let's push on op shop, uh, not op shop. Let's push on uh, garage sale number two coming up. It's a lovely property. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I can fit in the van though. <laughs> have you got rough prices on any of this? How about this one here? Fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've got the matching one to take home. Yeah. The exact same as this. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to give it away, so I 
Would you take 40? Yeah. Yep. I'm only if you bought the Yeah, alright. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep having a look around, but I'll take up to 40. Thank you very much. No worries. And tools out here, yeah? All right, guys, just finished up in the second garage sale. I thought that was actually pretty good. Um, it's 10.30 now, so it would have been picked over, but um, there were still a few things to grab. Um, furniture's always a good one when I'm at garage sales because I can go a little bit later on in the day uh, because truly people just don't look for furniture and it's such a large, big, bulky item that it often gets passed up, even if it's a really, really quality piece of furniture. So um, I was able to buy that one that you would have seen in the video for $40. Um, I know that I'm gonna get at least 150 for it. Um, so there's gonna be a hundred bucks profit made there. I have sold one or two of those sort of pieces in the past. So I was pretty confident at a $40 purchase and it was in very good condition. So if you've got a van, um, if you've got a larger vehicle that you can take to these garage sales for items like furniture um, you can cash in you can get some really good money for it um, I had a really good scan through the VHS tapes and I really like collecting these because they are quite hard to find um, I managed to pick up a Bee Gees uh, VHS tape uh, Bee Gees obviously very very popular um, managed to find a Gone with the Wind as well Gone with the Wind VHS um, there was a heap of like sporting oh there was this um, Crocodile Dundee which goes for about $20 um, it's got a pretty dodgy case on it, but I still think it's um, it's gonna fetch about 20 bucks plus postage. So that was a great find. And then a lot of them were um, sporting um, VHS tapes, sort of, you know, historical anniversary type years. So um, there was 200 years of Australian cricket history. Um, that one there, there was a Bradman uh, VHS tape, which I thought I had to grab. All of these cost me a dollar. Um, so for a dollar in, um, there's gonna be some some decent profit here. Um, I found a 200 Magic Memories of Rugby League as well. So all of these sort of historical year DVDs, I thought I'd just get my hands on. Uh, Long Live the King as well, Wally Lewis. Now he is an absolute icon here in Queensland. Um, so I'm, I have no doubt he will sell pretty fast. Uh, what else? Oh, Winfield Cup, 200 years. Rugby League, that's Rugby League. There's a 100 year um, celebration VHS tape. And then the Invincibles as well. Uh, so the Invincibles VHS too. So really quite cool uh, VHS tapes, especially uh, sporting VHS tapes. And she was doing everything for just a dollar. Um, so I haven't I haven't really sifted through the comps and I, I tend to find at garage sales, I don't really get a lot of opportunity to sit there and look for the comps. It's kind of got to be off what, I, what I've known previously, um, which can be a bit daunting and a bit tricky at times to work out price. But when you've got a dollar each for those VHS tapes, you kind of just grab those because they will make, even if they made $10 and I've, uh, sorry, yeah, $10 each, I've made $100 on those VHS tapes. So well worth it, even for a, 50, uh, for a $10 sale. Um, I also found these hats as well. Now the hats I thought were quite cool. Um, they're all sort of alcohol beer related caps. Um, this one's um, Diamond Draft Beer. They kind of had all of a, a vintage type look about it. So with the vintage type look and, and a cool brand, this one was Redback Bitter. Um, so I grabbed Redback Bitter as well. That's a pretty cool cap. Um, VB, obviously the classic VB cap. I had to buy that one. That's a really cool one. That should go pretty well. Um, some old school Powers Bitter. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Again, I paid just a dollar for these caps, so why not? And I thought this was really, really cool. This was Hawaii Hang Loose Shaka. Um, that was just a really sick hat. I might even wear that one myself. I'm a real hat fan. Um, so that was a cool pickup. 
for a dollar too. So uh, a dollar for the uh, VHS, a dollar for the hats, $40 for the furniture. I've paid $55 there, but I've got quite a lot of cool stuff. And um, I'm really thinking that we're gonna be well over $200 when it's all said and done. So um, we're up to about $400 worth of resale value here. Things are moving pretty well. We're gonna do one more garage sale and it's only around the corner. So we'll push around there, have a bit of a look, see what we can find. How's it been this morning? Yeah, just well, until last hour. I think it's something we need to pack up. It was busy really early. Yeah. Now it's, I think everyone's, I don't know if this is it or. Usually the way, hey? Yeah, it's just, well, it's, sort of said seven, between six, seven, seven. Yeah. It's the busiest. Last garage sale, all wrapped up guys, and um, a couple of little goodies here. I've been able to find the specialized cycling shoes. Um, now these are in really good condition, uh, nothing wrong with these. They go for quite a bit retail. Uh, I got these for just $5. So he said, look, just take them. He goes, he knew, he knew how much they were worth, but he needed them out of the house. So I picked these up for five bucks. They comp for around about $50. So I think I'll get a clean 50, uh, plus postage as well, I believe for these. Um, so I might be able to get 65 probably, um, 15 post. So that was a good one there. Uh, I also found the um, pedals, the clipless, or the clip-on pedals as well. Uh, this was Shimano um, in the cycling brand. So that's a good one to get your hands on. Um, this was going for around $25. So he's thrown those in um, as well. And 25 bucks for a couple of things just thrown in. Um, that's kind of cool, sort of adds to the shoes. So I think I'll be able to get probably $90 for all of that now. Um, and I also found this wetsuit as well. Now this is a, a three millimeter. Oh. This is a three millimeter full length um, hammer uh, wetsuit. So O'Neill's a great brand. This one was comping for around about the 50 to $70 mark um, pretty comfortably with a few sales. So over the next couple of months as we lead into the winter, I think I'm gonna be able to sell quite a few of these wetsuits. Um, he gave this one away for $5 as well. So uh, those three items, oh, he also gave these for free, um, which I haven't really looked too much into, but it was just some cycling clothing that he just said, look, take that as well. Um, that was for free. So I paid $10 all up um, for the shoes, for the, for the pedal clips, um, for the wetsuit and for the shirts. So 10 bucks for all of that, that was crazy. Um, and that's going at 10.30 in the morning as well. So what I've realized from three garage sales, I've been able to pick up about 25 items and all in all, I've spent probably about $120, but I think the resale value is well over 500. So it's certainly been a successful trip. Even going out late, I still think there's opportunity out there. There's obviously less opportunity because the early birds get in and they get the job done, but the second mouse can get the cheese. And I was really happy to get away with a few items here that I'll get back and list up onto eBay. But um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. It just goes to show guys persistence, get out there, keep looking, keep finding keep listing and you will keep selling. So all the best. Uh, look forward to catching you in the next video. We'll see you soon.